Abigail. <coughs> Yo. I'm Grant, uh, this is Alana. Um, we run um, Williams Racing. Uh, we have done for the past 15 to 20 years. Well, we trained for Bob Peters for 12 years. Um, he's one of the biggest breeders in Australia. He's in the top three. I thought we had a really good team. We had Willie Pike, he was our jockey. He's still our jockey. We, we had very, very well-bred horses. Yeah, most certainly when we were winning it was you know, on a high, it's a lot of success. It, it allowed us to showcase sort of what we could do. It allowed us to improve. Well, we're always getting better at it, but yeah, we set, we set our bar very high after that. We, we were going to race in big races and we had great horses, but nothing lasts forever. With, with regards to the split, we wanted a change and we decided to take a, a different path. We had a 12, 12 year partnership and at the end of it, yeah, we decided we'll, we'll do our own thing. We sort of knew we'd, we'd be low for like 12 to 18 months. It'll take time to uh, sort of get a young team going. So no, it was just a lot of hard work, you know, head down, bum up. So we pretty much had to start from scratch. It was pretty tough at the start. Um, we probably didn't realise sort of uh, how much that we didn't have in, in far, as far as um, like ownership base and uh, horses and stuff like that. Did our pride take a hit? Um, yeah, it definitely did because we're competitors. We were, you know, we had to sit out a, a carnival and watch other people, you know, do well. We like competing. We like competing in big races and it was definitely a hard time for us. Yeah, obviously there's a lot of pressures. Um, we live together, work together, but I think as time went on, we learned how to deal with that better and better. We got through some pretty tough times. We're such a good team. We bounce off each other so good. We hit some low spots, but we worked through it and I think we've come out of it pretty good. Our pin-up horse this year would be Elsafina. She's got a, a similar CV to other mares that we've had, like a inspirational girl or a galaxy star. Um, they had to go out, they had to mature and get a bit stronger. And we think she's done that. We're pretty happy with where she's at. We're gonna aim her up at a railway. Got a couple of nice three-year-olds that we're looking forward to. Uh, a pair of fillies that have already won races, uh, Written Melody and Keshi Boom. And there's a couple more still coming through which are good chances as well. So um, we're hoping something can put their hand up uh, coming up for those big races. We've got another nice bloke that we won the Pinjaro Cup with last year, Casino 17. I think he went to another level last prep. He, he's probably our best Perth Cup chance. We're hoping that we could get a service of, of Willie, which will be like it used to be. I think we'd, we'd, if we won a Group 1 this year, I reckon it would go to number one. It would be our biggest success. Yeah, I think our model now is a lot more consistent than it used to be. It's more, uh, we're at peace with it, we're happy with it. It's only going to get better. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's, a lot, yeah, it's a lot happier place. Now, it doesn't matter if we win a race at Northern or Belmont or wherever, the, the people that have these horses are that ecstatic on uh, training a winner. They want to have a drink with you after the race. When they, they come down to meet the horse for the first time and to look at the excitement on their faces, it makes it really easy to get up at five o'clock in the morning. That's the, that's the whole racing industry. That's the environment that we all thrive on. And, and that's what we're happy to bring our daughter into. When it's in your blood, it's really hard to, to you know, go and do something else. Imagine what you could be buying instead.